Welcome to the 2024 Economic Depression and Preparation Channel. I'm your host, Tony. Thank you for joining me on this Sunday edition, April 7, 2024. It's a beautiful day in most of the country, and we pray it stays that way for the Eclipse folks and the other the Soul Eclipse folks and other people that may be traveling this weekend. Um, good luck with that. But uh, please be sure to subscribe to this channel for the latest interpretation of financial news and data as it becomes available for the lower 48 United States. And I appreciate every one of you guys' support. Um, and comments. I read them all. Thank you very much for your support. Now on to the pressing news of today. We're going to be talking about where the jobs are at in this strong labor market that they're saying the media is continuing to tout both locally and nationally. We're also going to be talking about how consumer credit is good for right now, but heading into the summer months, things may be changing here quite some time. So we're going to be looking into that right now. Consumer credit, according to MarketWatch.com, continued to grow at a solid rate in February. Borrowing was up $14.1 billion after $17.7 billion gain in the prior month. And uh, the outdoor malls and outlets are starting to make a sort of semi-comeback. You know, um, we know that malls have been dying for the last 30, 35 years. But outlet malls and other little malls have been starting to see vacancy rates decrease or decline as compared to previous years. And part of it is because of consumer credit. You know, you go to every store you go to, Americans, we go to, they offer you a credit card from Home Depot to Aldo to Target to Walmart to uh, Lulu Lemon or any of these stores. They are, the first thing they offer you is a some kind of credit or exchange for an exchange for a rebate and so this continues to see here uh the number as long as consumer credit is strong uh this economy will continue to chug along because you know that 75 percent of the united the united states economy is based on spending um everyday ordinary american spending whether that's at the malls the gas station um the amusement parks or any anything um discretionary spending is still going to continue to be there so strong labor market underpins the u.s economy in the first quarter as you can see we added 300,000 jobs in march and the growth continues um but what kind of jobs most of these jobs are part-time jobs most of these jobs are people who are, got hustle jobs side hustle jobs in addition to their main jobs and some of these jobs are even people coming back from furlough and or leave, um, temporary leave. Uh, those numbers are included in the jobs numbers. And so we don't know, you know, if those are going to be continuing claims or initial jobless claims. But this is what we're getting. So the unemployment rate has below, remained below 4% for 26 straight months. This is the longest stretch since the 1960s. So this is according to this report by Routers and according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Now, uh, so the strong hiring and everything, it still doesn't explain the dollar, the weak dollar. As you can see, we got monthly change versus estimate here, but it doesn't explain the dollar um, printing up more money and how the hyperinflation is continuing to eat away at Americans' paychecks, um, that they have to get these two two jobs or side hustles in addition to their main income because of what's going on in this economy. So this is what we're looking at. Here's where the jobs are at for March 2024 in one chart. As you can see here. Um, the jobs, Dow Jones is pushing closer and closer to that 40K mark. Um, but the stock market, once again, is not the main economy. And you can see here the jobs, of course, leading out is healthcare. 81,000 jobs are added in healthcare and social assistance. You know, the baby boomers are getting older. Um, they have more health needs and more, you know, things are going to be adding in the geriatric department. And so healthcare is going to be booming. Um, even though hospitals are closing and insurance companies are reimbursing less for doctors and all of that, they're still going to be booming. Um, and government services, obviously, government, federal government's not getting smaller. So jobs are going to be created there in defense and contracting and all of that stuff. So they added 71,000 jobs. Legion and hospitality added 49,000 jobs. Construction added 39,000 jobs as they continue to build these kind of, uh, not startup homes, but these mid grade homes um, and, and things of those natures and more apartment buildings. Mainly, a lot of that's apartment building. You look at all these mid, -sit, mid -sit cities they're building tons of apartments stacking them up on the top of each other no parking you know just uh, exorbitant fees so that's when where the construction comes in and uh, and also car washes and storage facilities storage uh units public storage unit facilities retail trade 17.6 thousand jobs added obviously you know some new uh, shops that the investors, the big investors I have, they're adding into the thing as well. But you can see on the lower end, we're not adding any information technology jobs, no manufacturing jobs, zero, zero. That's bad. And we're losing jobs in utilities, which I thought was interesting. 400 jobs lost in utilities areas. So infrastructure, even though we're trying to work on that, it's still a sore point 
information technology infrastructure as well as physical infrastructure is still a sore point in the American economy. And only 3,000 jobs in financial services and mining and logging. And so I thought that was interesting as well. We still do heavily dependent upon other countries to provide our pharmaceuticals and our mining as far as uh, getting these products that go into your iPhones and Android phones and all that kind of stuff from other countries. So this is what we're dealing with here with this economy. What do you think, guys? Do you think that we're going to be seeing a slowdown heading into the second quarter here as we head past April and into May and June? Do you think there's going to be a rate cut or a rate increase in June and July by the Federal Reserve Bank? And have you seen an increase as well as people growing their own gardens, whether it be raised gardens, box gardens, or hydroponic gardens inside in their basements? Have you seen that increase as food prices continue to climb um, at all box and wholesale stores? Let me know what you think about that as well. God bless. Have a great weekend. Get out and enjoy yourself. And I'll talk to you very soon on Monday. Thank you very much.